Hey everybody, welcome to Black Arrow Gaming. I'm Bob, and this is the 20th episode in my first Civilization VI strategy series. I decided to go ahead and record another episode, so I'm recording this immediately after the preceding one, primarily because, um, well, primarily because I don't want to risk, where is it, great people? I don't want to risk forgetting about this guy, the fact that I want to buy him as soon as I have enough faith to do so. I don't want to risk letting that great scientist slip through my fingers. Um, as I was looking at things here, though, I noticed something. This is just brutal. Like, sometimes this game is just cruel. I don't have any aluminum in my borders, but look at this. There's aluminum here, there's aluminum here, and there's aluminum here. It's like all right around Varenz. So close, but not quite. So, I guess I have some options with Lorenz. What I could do is like buy up all the available tiles so it forces the city to expand beyond its normal three tile range and then hope that one of them reaches out and gets an extra like an extra resource that's probably what i'm gonna end up having to do but i have no way to control where the borders will expand really so i mean i might get it i might not if china is china could put a city in this area and grab it so, I don't know. It's just really unfortunate. I might have to trade for it, but I don't know. We'll see. I don't need it yet, but I will need it for, like, planes and stuff later in the game. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to point that out. And, city is not really doing what I want it to do. Because I need to lock that tile in so it grows faster. I want the extra growth, and then it can start reaching out to these other tiles. All right, so alliance with Congo has expired. Um, maybe I want to declare friendship with them again. I don't know. I think... Yeah, they're friendly with France, and that's really all I care about. Whoops, oh, I don't want to... No, I don't want to be friends with you. Clicked on the wrong guy. I'm glad he said no. I want to be friends with the Congo. Uh, okay. He's not quite ready for that yet. And how about you guys? Any talk of alliance yet? I mean... She just laughs at me every time I say that. Okay, well what about open borders at least? Um... No, I don't really want to pay you for it. I'll see if my relationship with them starts souring for some reason. I'm not getting any warmonger penalties with them, at least. We'll see. I'll, I'll kind of keep an eye on how things develop. Oh, wait a second. Oh! France is at war with Japan. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder why. Oh, I'm not suzerain of them anymore, but that's... No worry now, I already got all the buildings I wanted. Okay, there's a bunch of new city-state quests. I probably need to eyeball a few of these here and see. Some of them are trade routes, so I'll pay attention to that the next time I'm sending one out. Inspiration for Cold War. I could probably do that. Three trade route ones. Yeah. I'll try to remember to look at that next time I'm sending a trader out. Just wondering why... Oh wait, no, this is probably why. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Japan's kind of putting up coastal cities around here. and I guess France doesn't like that. This is a weird place for them to put some cities. Well, then again, I've got one clear over on where China is, so... Okay, speaking of which... Okay, I'm gonna keep the trade route going with Paris. That's a given. I'll get the city-states later when I have a less attractive trade route. Let's not mess up with those guys again like I did in the last episode. Um, I got... 
Another seaside resort I could put there. In fact, I could get two out here. That would be pretty nice. How's the city doing with growth? Like, food-wise? So I'm thinking... <clears throat> I'm thinking maybe, a. Uh, I got several options here. I, I kind of wanted food, but I can maybe build farms here. Get a decent bit of food out of that. And I've got plenty of fish, actually, so I don't think I need to worry so much about farms in this city. What I do want to get is probably a seaside resort there. I could build a forest here or an entertainment complex. Actually, I would want that once the power plant's done. That or a theater. <clears throat> Maybe the theater would be better. Yeah, well, basically what I'm thinking here... I don't know what I'll do with that tile. This one's going to be some sort of district that boosts amenities to surrounding tiles. Or appeal of surrounding tiles. Which will let me get... I could actually build two of them here. Okay, so this will probably be entertainment complex, theater square, resort, and then two neighborhoods. Yeah, that'll work. So I want to go get that resort built now, because I already know I want it, and it would be really good. And I can go get oil once combustion is done. Wait, no, I need plastics to get the oil platform. I, okay, I can't get oil yet. But I could go out and get uh, boats on all those fish, so that'll be useful at least. And let's see. Sorry if my voice sounds a little funny. My throat's kind of bugging me right now. Makes narrating a little bit difficult, as you might expect. Need to get rid of that pin. Yeah, we'll keep going down there. I'm sure I can use these builders in this area. Oh, I forgot I had a privateer sitting down here. <laughs> Which can upgrade to an ironclad. Oh, wait, no, that's a caravel. I still should upgrade that, though. Do I have the discount for unit upgrades at the moment? No, that's not active. Try to remember to do that next time I have an opportunity. All right. Ancient artifact, a scroll, okay. So I have this museum. I have two ancient artifacts from me and one from Hong Kong. I need to trade this for... I need to trade this with anybody else. So let's start with France because... Let's just see what they've got. Um, how about your scroll for my scroll? How's that sound? And will you give me anything on top of that? Probably not, but... Okay, we'll just accept this. Okay, I could hear the little noise. I just got the theme museum. And the Eureka bonus that comes with it. Cultural heritage is done, so I definitely want to finish that because there's a card I want from it. And I have a theme museum, so that's also good. Excellent. So now, the next place that I'm going to be doing this is Moscow, because they're building an amphitheater, then they'll get the archaeological museum, and then I'll fill that one up too. My culture should jump quite a bit too. My tourism should get close to 800, I think, now. Um, no. You're literally just going to demand stuff from me. Alright, I need to start preparing for a war with China. Because they could do a lot of damage over here. 
the city is pretty well fortified, but but I'm I'm very I don't have a lot of stuff out there. All right, I'm gonna send I'm gonna send another privateer that way to bolster the navy a bit. And probably need to think about getting another unit out there, like a range unit. Maybe one of those field cannons that I had. I don't know that I need the one down there. Did I have one? Okay, I've got one sitting in there watching England. I have, uh, like, no other military units down there, though. Alright, I'm gonna take this one out because England really doesn't scare me anymore and send that over to where China is. Alright, so I know that I want cultural heritage, heritage tourism. What I want to switch it for is a different story. I think actually I'll probably switch it for those science points since I'm going to buy this guy anyway on the next turn. That'll work. Will it update that number on this turn or am I going to have to wait till next? I'm going to have to wait till next turn. And I got a great person, engineer, awesome. I don't know where I want him to go, but he could boost all the appeal and t tiles in two different cities. Probably best to do it in Kazan. I know actually definitely Kazan should use it, because for one thing, that'll boost that neighborhood once. Yeah, yeah, I could boost that. Unless I want a commercial hub there. I wonder if you could do it twice in the same city, because there's going to be two seaside resorts in Kazan that would benefit from it too. It would also be useful in this city, I think, because there's one seaside resort there, plus a couple of places that could really benefit. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if it lets me do it twice in one city. Does he have to be on the city center? Yeah. Okay, so you need to move. Okay, awesome. So this city just got plus one appeal to all tiles. So that's now charming. This is now breathtaking seven. St. Petersburg definitely needs an archeological museum. And Astrakhan is done with the power plant, cool. I think this city is probably going to get a neighbor, no, a seaside resort there. I don't know what I'm going to do with that tile. Maybe an aerodrome, actually. I, I do need an airport on this island somewhere. And I was thinking about making those farms. Let's get that going. What else do we need? Actually, I don't have a harbor in this city yet either. I need to build that probably here. Yeah, because that's, that's a commercial hub, right? Yep. Oh, uh, do I want the harbor first or the... The airport. I'll go ahead and grab the harbor now. Get the airport soon. Because the harbor will give a bunch of gold bonuses. Yeah, three more. Three more of these guys to put down somewhere. Wait. Oh, Carthage could be good. Give me an extra trade route. How much? 
How far behind Catherine am I? Not too far. I could maybe get that. Or at least start working towards it. It'll give me production, bonus production for military units now, but if I can get a few more envoys there later, that could be useful for me. Might actually think about building some more encampment districts. Extra trading posts are always a good thing. Or extra trade routes. And <laughs> finally finish that plantation. just thinking I might send this guy south anyway rather than boosting that city's appeal again but it does have two you know it could really benefit from that I don't know that's a tough call so basically the way I'm looking at this this city, if I boost production, or if I boost appeal, is benefiting what will be two trading posts, or I'm not two trading posts, two resorts, which it's acting like I can't build, but I know I, okay, I'll be able to build it on the next turn. And those always, like, keep appeal, basically. Um, I wonder if maybe he'd actually be better off on the island. Then I could really boost appeal a lot. Actually, I think seaside resorts here would be better everywhere, to be honest. If I build like a couple districts that boost appeal. And that, and then I could maybe put a neighborhood there. Yeah, there's there's reason to think I should actually send him out here. Volgda. Maybe I should have sent him for both of these. Yeah, I think I'm going to send him out to that island, because I could really pack a lot of seaside resorts out there. And ultimately, that's the key for me to win the game. So I think one here is, is good. I would maybe consider building like a wonder here to boost the appeal one final level to get that up to... I mean, I could also build a forest there as an option and just not do a commercial hub in this city. So I've got other options here if I want, if I really want that extra housing. I don't necessarily need it, but it might be nice to have. Actually, now that I think of it, this is still good for me because I could build a neighborhood here. This city kind of needs it. And then the air, it would still be charming even with the airport. So that's still good for me. Oh yeah, and I could have built it where the National Park is. Wait, wait a second. I got, probably could have built a National Park out here on this island if I could find it. I think it has to be all land tiles, though. Yeah, that might not have worked. Yeah, that's okay. Alright, well, anyway. Builder completed uh, in Moscow. So next is, I was thinking about building some wonders. And I think Broadway was going to come next. And I believe both of these are 
bonuses to, or they have to be next to the theater square, if I'm not mistaken. I could actually build the Eiffel Tower in Kazan. That might also be a good move. A lot of options here. So Bolshoi Theater must be adjacent to theater square. Broadway must be adjacent to theater square. So I'm going to go ahead and probably start on Bolshoi Theater since that's been out longer. And Broadway I can catch up on later. Also, did the artist that gives sculptures go yet? Nope, not yet. Congo will probably get him. And don't forget, Bob, to buy the great scientist that you were the whole reason I kept playing right now. All right, got the great scientist that I wanted. Perfect. this guy. Keep him safe. And just out of the way. Alright, heading north with my privateer. That's right, gonna reinforce my city up there. I wonder where John Curtin's going with those units. Alright, can I build seaside resorts on those tiles, or do I have to wait until I've got districts that help. I don't think I can build a seaside resort there yet. I think the tile... Well, maybe it can be charming. I don't know. Well, I'll find out. No, can't build a seaside resort unless it's breathtaking, I think. Alright, that's fine. I'll go down here build some farms, or I guess I need to... Actually, I need to embark and start building a bunch of fishing boats. All right, play it safe again, gain sources, and then steal money. Mobilization on the next turn be able to at least build an oil well. I already have a supply of oil though, and I could build tanks in this city right now. I don't think I need to. I'm pretty sure my military is still way ahead of everybody else's, but it is nice to have that option. All right, as soon as that's done, I'm going to buy another archaeologist. Ooh, I would love to be able to see uranium, but I need an airstrip first. I think I might, when the factory is done, I might just buy the power plant there so I can get the airport done. Well, I could do plastics. All right. I'll go build an oil well down here to get the Eureka for plastics. There's actually a decent place for another natural park down here. Actually, well, that's what I should do down here, is knock out... Yeah, I'm gonna take out the lumber mill from there and there, actually, and put a natural park in this tile. That's a lot of appeal. That one's got an appeal of nine, dang. And that's five, and that's five. Yeah, I don't know why I wouldn't do that. Although, I don't, I need more faith, but I'll get there eventually. Uh, Mary Leakey, you need to... 
Oh, she actually has to be used on a museum. I didn't realize that. Oh wait, that's right. Her bonus, her passive bonus for artifacts in all of your cities gain 300% of their normal tourism. So that's what I'm after. But it, she also gets a 350 science bonus for each artifact in a city. She pairs really well with England, who can get six artifacts in their archaeological museums. Alright, let's chop this down. And I should be able to get a seaside resort there on the next turn. Yeah, let's get these. Let's get these fishing boats up. I need a I need a harbor here. I do need quite a bit of population growth in this city and housing. Yeah, I need a harbor there. I need a neighborhood district. There's quite a few things I need, so I can't just do seaside resorts here. Okay, friendship with Catherine de Medici expired. I really, really, really would like to get that back. All right, at this point, I'm willing to make a deal for open borders because that'll benefit our relationship a little bit and really, really want to stay on her good side. Okay, that's a lot better deal for me too. She's too valuable of a trading partner for me to have a war with her. Uh, what do you want, man? I'm pretty sure I'm already getting coffee from someone, so... No. I'll sell you jade, but... Hey, who's that? Portrait of Pierre... Oh, or somebody, Falcon A. It's from Marie and Colette. I know I've got one from Donatello, a sculpture. But this means there's somebody else out there who's made sculptures. I will trade you one of mine for that one. I don't need that portrait. I do need both of those books. And all of your money. However much he's willing to give. 19 gold, I'll take 70. That's not bad. That's a pretty good deal for me. Yes, okay, cool. All right, so I'm friends with France again. I have a bunch of money saved up too, so definitely going to spend that in Kazan when I have the opportunity to. Unit maintenance costs reduced by two per turn. Awesome. Anything else I want to switch out? Not building builders as much now. I think I'll swap this in. Oh, it's plus 15% production towards industrial and later era wonders. So that would apply to Broadway, but it doesn't apply to Bolshoi Theater. Well, no, maybe it does. Bolshoi Theater might be industrial. I need to check that. Where do you get that at? Somewhere around... There's industrial era. Opera Ballet. Yeah, it is. It is, so I could use that bonus production. So I do want skyscrapers. 
I'll swap that in over the tourism one that I've been using, or the the builder one that I've been using. I want to keep the tourism one. So where is skyscrapers? I just saw it in here. Uh, where did it go? Oh yeah, it's like the last one I look at. That looks good and cheaper unit maintenance. Ooh, tourism is getting close to a thousand. That's awesome. Taking too long to get her down there. All right, I'm gonna, well, I wanna see if anyone's working on that actually. No, not really. I'll just, take care of this now then yeah I may remove those later once I've got enough for another <clears throat> once I've got enough faith for another naturalist so I can consider putting a national park there for now let's get lumber mill here at least All right. Looking pretty good there. That's an awful lot of resources in like a line right here. A couple shipwrecks out there, so I'll have to remember that if I'm looking for archaeological places. All right, cool, and I can build the seaside resort there. Tourism will be at over 900 next turn. Oh, I got another, uh, another mine there. Although I don't know if I even want to build a mine on that tile just for the appeal of it. Um, what in the world? No, no. No, just flat out no. I'm not giving you oil. Man, I'm like leading everybody in science, but I didn't really build very many campuses in this game. I guess I had just enough to stay ahead. Oh, cool. Great Admiral. Um, oh, you know what I forgot to do? And I'm going to stop. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to upgrade him now. But I wanted to make that an ironclad. Accumulate 25% less war weariness than usual. I wonder. That just lowers my war weariness overall, but I wonder. I know there's two cards you can get that also reduce war weariness by 25% each. So I wonder if I could actually have 100% war weariness immunity. Because if I get two from this guy from retiring him twice because I have the mausoleum... And then, I know you get one from totalitarianism. Yeah, accumulate 25% less war weariness than usual. And then there's another one you get from, maybe it's rapid deployment? I don't know. I know there's another card that you can get that reduces war weariness. So I think I could actually have... Absolutely no war weariness, which would be kind of cool. Um, archaeological museum. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm buying an archaeologist here. Purchase him right away before I forget. Yeah, somebody's in the way. 
Alright, move. I have all these great people sitting around that I can't use. Alright, I'll go grab the one on the island there, and then... Get that boat, I guess. Is there any others, like, really close by? I like to target the ones that are kind of in my way in terms of constructing things. I guess I could clear that one out of Manchester. And then there's the one down there. Alright, so I've got plenty of options for him. Hey, wait. Did I finish the... I haven't finished it yet, but I'm going to finish a broadcast tower down here soon. I want to make sure he's in position to put something in it. I keep seeing one thing in one city that reminds me of something else I need to do in a different city. <laughs> Sydney Opera House. Okay, what do we got here? This might be worth building. How many turns are we talking about? Um... 23. Yeah, I think that's totally worth building. Then I'll try to crank out great musicians as quickly as I can. Um, okay, purchasing... Purchasing the power plant. Just spend the money. Let's get that production going a little faster for everybody, and... Then I will... Oh, wait, I can't get the aerodrome yet. Population of 16 or greater. Nuts. Okay, um... City's growing in seven turns, so... Why don't I build a broadcast center? And then when that's done, I should be able to build the airport. Uh, these guys... Oh, yeah, they just cleared that tile. And Mary Lee, he's going here. This ought to give me a nice boost in science. I can pretty much finish a good portion of these in one turn. Which one do I want, though? How about advanced ballistics? Since I've already got the Eureka for that. Alright, so I was thinking about another neighborhood here, and it's probably <clears throat> not a good idea to... Oh wait, no, it actually wouldn't matter. I could build a mine there. I think it'd be a waste, though. I don't really need the niter. Oh yeah, skip turn. Alright, let's go ahead and boost the appeal of this city. I really need to get this one up and running a little faster. So yeah, I think all the fishing boats will help. But I need a harbor here to help with growth, like water-related growth. I'm halfway tempted to actually just buy that power plant, but it's halfway done, so I'm not going to do that. I wonder if there's anything else in there I could buy to help the city along, though. No, the power plant's the only thing I could buy. Alright. Well, seven turns until the industrial zone is done, and then I can think about probably getting a harbor for this city, too. And then an airport after that. Okay, what have we got? Probably, what can I get next, I think? Not robotics... 
Not two aerodromes. Uh, telecommunications. I will have two broadcast centers done soon. Wait, I can build submarines now. I think. I believe it's a privateer that upgrades. Yeah, I could have submarines. And then uh, telecommunications. I will have two broadcast centers done before too long. So I'll get the Eureka for that, and then I'll have nuclear submarines before long. Well, that's encouraging. Um, I'm just going to trigger this again. I don't feel like managing her much. I'll just take the lower war weariness now, and then I have it in case anyone attacks me. Alright, well, may as well go get this one out on the island there. Is there two up here? Yes, there is. There's one in Kazan's borders. Alright, we'll do this. Get the island, then get back on the mainland and go get that one and that one, probably. Alright, now with this one so close to finishing a broadcast tower, I'm just going to skip turn with that guy. He's got 9 out of 11 housing. Okay, that's good for now. I want to get that neighborhood up soon. Maybe I should actually just... No, I need to let the power plant finish first, and then I'll have some more options. Once that's done, I need to try to remember to get the unit discount upgrade card and just go straight to nuclear subs. <laughs> it's another English settler. You guys know what that means. You know, with all the settlers I captured for them and the cities I use, I think my my country is actually more English than Russian, because I'm pretty sure most of my settlers, most of my cities, I got from settlers that I stole from England. Okay, now I need to think about my ideology. What do I want for the end game? I think the suffrage one would be great, because so much of my country is focused around great people. Let's see, trade routes to allied cities. Oh man, that would be great. If I could get France to be my ally, ever. Because that would give me food and production from trading with allied cities. Well, the inherent bonus is patronage of great people costs less gold. Legacy bonus, bonus yields for district projects. I don't really like the democracy in this one that much, but patronage of great people alone almost makes it worth it, especially with the amount of money I'm generating. The other one, I don't really ever look at totalitarianism because I rarely do a... Uh, I rarely go for that, for like the warmonger victory condition. But I do like class struggle. I like communism a lot in this game. Um, the bonus to all production is, is really nice. Just a flat 10% bonus to all production everywhere. I really like that. Plus one campus and industrial zone district adjacency bonuses. Food from domestic trade routes. That one's kind of nice, but I have so many bonuses for trading out of... St. Petersburg that I don't think I'd use it much. I think in this case I gotta go with probably suffrage. B 
because because just because of great people they're important for me oh and I got another musician awesome that's good since I'm building a lot of wonders that I can put a musician in the next one would probably go up in Moscow so I'll let him hang out until Bolshoi theater is done Tempted to use gold. Wait, well, no, I can't really use gold to buy that. It's getting a little pricey, and I don't have a whole lot on me right now. I do need more gold, though. If I'm going to go with suffrage, I'm going to want extra gold for patronage. So probably wouldn't be a bad idea to build a stock exchange as soon as I can. I'm still going to prioritize production first, because that's more of a long-term benefit. Plus... This particular city is going to give production bonuses to like four cities with the factories and power plants. So I still want to get that first. Um, let's see, that's done. I think a uh, lighthouse would be a good call for that city. Kind of want more builders down here. What is this tile right here? It's breathtaking. That'd be another good neighborhood. It's hard to tell where I should build farms and where I should build neighborhoods and stuff like that. I think I'm going to have this guy go here. And I'm actually going to build a builder here in Astrakhan. Because I want to clear this land and make, make farmland or neighborhoods, one or the other. Actually, this will be a good seaside resort, I think. Yeah, I'll do a seaside resort there, and then a farm here. Oh, I need to upgrade those guys too. Okay, I definitely need. Wait, I just got it. I just switched policies. I need the cheaper unit uh, upgrades. Here we go. All right, so these guys can be machine guns now. Um, I know I have more field cannons around. There's one. I need to upgrade privateers to submarines. Which I'll be upgrading again shortly. Can the frigates upgrade yet? No. Well, they're ironclads, not frigates. Actually, I actually have no range ships, now that I think of it. Let's see. Uh, I know I had one more. There it is. On that note, let's look and make sure I don't have any field cannons or privateers left, because if I do, they need to be upgraded. There's two field cannons somewhere. I at least have three submarines. Okay. So wherever these guys are... Oh, I'm out of gold. Okay. I'll get them. And need to try to remember to keep an eye on Faith for that naturalist. Two naturalists, actually, because I need one in the city across the ocean, too. Australia has denounced France. That's probably good for me. I think France and I are kind of... We have sort of the same enemies and allies. Alright, Broadcast Center is done, so... Right off the bat, want to go ahead and... 
fill this up with stuff. See what artifact I get. It's another one from me. Medieval artifact. Okay, those are a little harder to come by. Seems to me that the ancient era ones are the most prevalent. Alright, broadcast center completed here. What was this city up to next? I can build any type of district I want. You know, actually, I'm not sure what comes next for this city. I've upgraded it quite a bit. It's in really good shape. You know, as I look at this, I'm thinking I do still want farms here. And this city needs a neighborhood, and I want one right there, so I'll do that. I want to keep the housing as high as possible in this city because it's growing so fast. Make sure there's not something I'm forgetting or missing. I mean, I would be building zoo, but my amenities are holding strong right where they are. Every city's got about plus two, so that's pretty good. All right, I was working on Carthage, I believe, which is currently only held by France, and that's the one that gives extra trade routes. So I know I have one, which means that the trade route in my capital is now available. If I could click on it. Okay. I really want to click on the trader, please. There we go, thank you. All right, now I have, I'm back up to nine trade routes, cool. Uh, New Orleans is a good trade route, so is Washington. But I do need, okay, there are city-states that I want to trade with. Uh, candy is a good one. Let's do that. All right, you need to go to sleep. It'll be a little while before. Oh, wait, no, that broadcast tower has be done long before Bolshoi Theater is. He needs to head back up here. All right, and I'm gonna have him wait because right now that's giving more food. So I'm gonna have him wait there and uh, until the other builder's done and then they can cut that down and put the seaside resort up on the same turn. Because right now I can't build the seaside resort. So clearing that's all it's gonna do is reduce the amount of food I get from that tile in the short term. Build two brosket broadcast centers. Okay, I'd, finishing one more. I might need to switch telecommunications to something else on the next turn so that I don't waste the Eureka bonus. Looks like China and Congo aren't getting along so good. Again, fine with me. Congo's kind of like France. We have similar friends and enemies. Oh, you know what? I forgot to change this a long time ago. A little pin right there. All right. They can go in there. I'm going to put them on skip turn because I don't want to forget they're there when that broadcast center is complete. And I need to switch telecommunications before I forget to do that. Probably going to go for combined arms. Oh, right. The broadcast towers only hold one work of music, not two. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll put the other one out there, and then this artist can, or that musician can go back down to Moscow. 
That way I only have one sitting around rather than two individual guys with one charge each. Alright, the next stop for him is Manchester, so get going over there. Yes, yes, I know more housing is needed. Oh, as much as I'd like to. <clears throat> no, I'll still I'll still make that a neighborhood, I think. This will be a seaside resort, but this city's got to have some housing. Okay, Bolshoi Theater is coming along well. That'll be done soon. Ten turns, I think. Hopefully nobody else started that. That one's been available for building for a while. But I'm pretty sure my culture is way ahead of everybody. Alright, no. Go away. Victoria. <laughs> oh, look at this city China built over here. That's just, a, that's an awful, horrible city. <laughs> But then again, Victoria, not like there's a lot she can do about preventing them from having it. I mean... Alright, so a 90% chance to siphon funds. Let's do that. And uh, since that's got to remain... Okay, cool. I got a few more tiles out here. So that's uh, just further reinforces making sure that this tile stays breathtaking for the rest of the game. So I'll just build a lumber mill there and then maybe use these guys for farms here. exactly the roads here. There's not really. There's one going to London, but that's it. Yeah. wonder who ended up getting the Great Lighthouse. I had considered building that in St. Petersburg, where I'm building the Opera House. I don't think Sydney Opera House is quite as good in this game as it was in the last Civ game. In Civ Five, it was crazy good. I always got it if I was going for a cultural victory. In this one, it seems a little more optional. But I mean, if I can get it, I may as well. All right. Uh, I have a new government now. Democracy. With all sorts of extra slots. One thing I do like about democracy is the extra economic policy slot. I always find that useful. I think for now I'm going to use it for whatever one gives me the bonus gold. Just to try to capitalize on... Oh, maybe a free market would be... No, I think this one would still be better. And I really like this one. Plus one gold from each of your envoys at City State. So I'm going to go gold heavy here and see what happens. So there's nothing for tourism right now as far as I can tell. And I got... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Cancel this. I have money. So I need to upgrade those field cannons wherever they are. And where's the other one? Okay, field cannon upgrade. Okay, there we go. Now go to this. Add in the extra gold from envoys at city states, which I have a lot of, and the extra gold from trade routes. This one. 
We'll see just how much this jumps. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I want to switch that too. That's why I upgraded those guys first. I'm going back to the plus two gold or minus two gold maintenance per turn. So currently 256 gold. I'm going to confirm policies. And that should jump way up, like like above 100 or above 300, easy. 400, 404. That's another 150 gold per turn. Oh, that's awesome. That is a good choice, I think, for because I forgot that one gives me more uh, economic cards, which I need. That's that's the other reason why I guess I would prefer to have democracy over communism. Okay. Um, I think I'm good. I think we need to wrap this episode up here. So um, I am in great shape, I think, that with this cultural victory. I'm actually, oh my gosh, I actually might get that within the next couple episodes. I would like to see if I could eclipse a thousand culture per turn, but uh, let me see how close I am here. 151 out of 256 tourists. I would not be surprised if I get this within like the next episode or two. So, but I've been, this is the third episode I've recorded today. So I really need to go take a break and go for a run or something. So I'm going to wrap this one up here. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. I, I, I'm thinking we'll coast to a pretty quick cultural victory here, but I hope you guys will stick around to watch it unfold. Uh, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. I hope you've been enjoying this series, and I'll see you in the next episode.